Hello, I'm Tom Lodziak. In today's video, I'm joined by top coach Craig Bryant, and Craig is going to teach us how to do a backhand punch. A backhand punch is an attacking shot, an aggressive shot, and a powerful shot, a real solid contact. And it's a very useful shot that you can use to hit outright winners. And we like hitting outright winners, yes. Okay, so let's find out more about this backhand punch. This video is brought to you in partnership with the fantastic Brybar Table Tennis. Brybar sell a wide range of bats, balls, nets, robots and tables from the leading table tennis brands. Go to brybartt.co.uk for more information. Uh, so the backhand punch uh, is an attacking shot. Uh, it's not a shot that you'd necessarily use all the time. Um, perhaps early on in a rally, if someone's thrown the ball up a little bit higher, that's an opportunity to, to use it. Or maybe deeper in the rally, um, and you've waited for that ball that's popped up a little bit higher and then you've taken your chance to take a little bit more risk uh, with the backhand punch to try and finish the point. So to execute the backhand punch, uh, one important thing is to try and make sure that you get your body behind the ball. It's very difficult to do if you're stood a little bit too far over and the ball's coming to the side to be able to execute it um, from the side of the body. So making sure that you're getting your body behind the ball wherever it is coming. We want to take the ball not too far in front of us. We don't want our elbow to go straight and it's tough to get the, the control and power together. So we want to keep the ball a little bit closer to us. So there's a little bend in the elbow. You can see the back face is then facing my opponent's side of the table. And that gives me the best possible chance of making that ball uh, on the table. It's going to be a complete hard contact. We're, looking for, we're not looking for a soft brush or we're not looking for a light touch. We're looking for a good solid hit. We're hitting through the back of the ball, the center of the racket, ideally if we can. And then from the elbow, the wrist is extending here and that wrist just gives it that little extra bit of power just towards the end. So it's a good combination of wrist and forearm hitting through the back of the ball. Um, the power is going to change, I think, slightly depending on the height that, you, that you're getting. If it's slightly lower and you still want to take the punch on, then you might play within yourself a little bit. If it pops up a little bit more, then that might be one that you, that you tend to take on and go a little bit harder on. Um, also depends who you're playing. If you're playing a high level, you know, a higher level opponent, then it might be worth taking that extra little bit of risk to try and get the point finished. Um, if you're playing someone your level, maybe weaker, then it might be a safer option just to take a little bit off the punch. Um, so it's obviously useful to be able to punch the ball into different areas on the table. I think the main benefit of the punch is the introduction of the change of pace that's going to be effective. Uh, obviously great if you can get someone into that crossover or out wide or deep on the table, it's going to make it that, more, that little bit more effective. 
um, but if it's still if it's landing a little bit shallow so long as it's there's a good change of pace you should still be able to get some benefit from the shot so so to first start practicing the backhand punch if you've got a friend or a coach that's able to deliver some slower and slightly higher balls to you that'll give you a real opportunity to try and make sure that you're getting that power behind it and it'll give you a little bit of time to practice it um, as well one important thing is to make sure that you're keeping the power on the shot even if you're missing um, if you're missing keep going for power and figure out what's making you miss so that you can help try and get it on if you start going slow then it's just turning into a drive and then you're just practicing the drive so make sure you keep that power in the shot when you're practicing it So that is the backhand punch. Another shot for you to try out. I'm trying to do it a little bit in my, in my game. Can't quite get the same amount of power as Craig at the moment, but I'm working on it. A big thank you to Craig Bryant for sharing all of his tips. And also a big thank you to Brybar Table Tennis for sponsoring this video. I'll have uh, more videos coming up soon. So I'll see you then. Bye bye.